Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to discuss when does your statement become criminal intimidation. A person might be in anger or in revenge mood intimidate someone by saying that he would hurt him or kill him or even set fire in his house, etc. In such a case, this is clear that he is intimidating, but sometime even talking normally, but while talking you may get anxious and angry and start using threatening words such as I will kill you, hurt you, or abduct your child, etc. Likewise, unknowingly you have intimidated him or her that is also equivalent to criminal intimidation. Most likely, intimidation is intentional behavior that may cause a person to fear injury or harm. It is not necessary to prove that the behavior was so violent as to cause terror or that the victim was actually frightened. So in this video, I will discuss the concept and punishment of criminal intimidation. Let's start with the first question that is, what is criminal intimidation? As section 503 of Indian Penal Code defines, whoever a person threatens another person with any injury to his person or reputation or property or to the person or reputation of anyone in whom that person is interested with intent to cause alarm to that person or to cause that person to do any act which he is not legally bound to do or to omit to do any act which that person is legally entitled to do as the means of avoiding the execution of such threat commits criminal intimidation. Let's check out the example. If A asks D, who is a doctor, to prepare a false medical report and if he would not do so, then he will injure his reputation or set fire to his house. This is a case of criminal intimidation. Let's check out what are the punishment of criminal intimidation. As defined by section 506 of Indian Penal Code, whoever commits the offense of criminal intimidation shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to two years or with fine or with both. Now, what would be the punishment if threat be to cause death or grievous hurt, etc.? If the threat be to cause death or to grievous hurt or to cause the destruction of any property by fire or to cause an offense punishable with death or imprisonment for life or with imprisonment for a term which may extend to seven years or impute unchastity to a woman shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to seven years or with fine or with both. Now, if criminal intimidation is given by an anonymous communication, then Section 507 of Indian Penal Code defines whoever commits the offense of criminal intimidation by an anonymous communication or having taken precaution to conceal the name or abode of the person from whom the threat comes shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to two years in addition to the punishment provided for the offense by the last preceding section. Last but not the least, what is the type of offense of criminal intimidation? Criminal intimidation under Section 503 IPC is categorized as 
non cognizable billable compoundable and triable by any magistrate however if threat be to cause death or grievous hurt then it is triable by the magistrate of the first class so this is all about the criminal intimidation 